Mm. Do you, what do you mean by baking in perfectly? So, do, your, do your things not rise? So they do, they do rise. But I wanted to, baking in perfect was all about making sure that people weren't scared of getting it wrong sometimes. It happens to all of us. And I think that in the tent when I was in Bake Off, it was quite clear that I was having a little bit of kind of run-ins with temperature and things not going exactly as planned and that's what people really related to because that's what happens to you at home that's what happens to everybody and I thought perfect that's my book I'm going to write this book in order to encourage people to enjoy that process and the journey and when it goes wrong laugh it off it's it's nearly always edible I, I don't bake so tell me about the joy of baking I think it's it's like magic to me. Um, it's you have these ingredients and you have a recipe, and if you follow that recipe, something beautiful will come out of it that you can give to people that you love. And feeding people is one of the best feelings in the world. Um, baking, in particular, I like the fact that there's um, so many different things with basic understanding that you can make. There are lots of different kind of uh, cakes, or or you can do buns, or breads, or pastries. Like there's just so much to get excited about. Who doesn't love sweet treats so yeah it's a great way of making friends by the way have you not brought any today no I was normally, going, I was normally going the person in this slot brings a <laughs> whole, so whole lot of cakes and we, we feed everyone out there no i'm so sorry i was going to cheat and go to mns on the way but i decided <laughs> against it <laughs> um what are you doing now tell, tell me about these food festivals which occur in stately homes do they they do so there is a huge uh food festival circuit across the uk um lots of different companies um and I always went as a guest, so before Bake Off, it was a huge thing for me. It's just an opportunity to go and run around a stately home and in the gardens and eat lots of amazing food from food trucks and kind of see lots of interesting people. And now I'm lucky enough that I am one of those people that kind of is on stage, which is crazy to me. So um, we all get together. There are hundreds of food vans and uh, live music often um, and just lots of very foodie, passionate people. And I get on stage and I do a demonstration, which sometimes works, sometimes Sometimes doesn't. Um, famously forgot flour in my brownies on a live show in front of about 200 people, but it's fine to be <laughs> laughed it off. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. And then I kind of chat to people and just try to encourage people to bake and not worry so much about the finesse I think is associated with it. You always follow a recipe. You can't intuit your way through baking. Is that right? I think one should follow a recipe. It's not, you know, with food, I think, with savoury food, lots of people are, are tasting as they go and you don't really have that opportunity with baking because once you put it in the oven, that's it, the oven door is closed. So you have to just kind of trust the process. And I, yeah, I, intu intuiting it is, is a tricky, is a tricky, tricky game with baking. That would lead to a lot of imperfection. Yeah, which, you know, should be embraced. Let's embrace the imperfection. But yeah, you have to stick, to, there are some rules that you do have to stick to in the recipe, yeah. You were reminding me just before we came on air that we bumped into each other at Longleat. We did. Uh, a great stately home. My favourite. Uh, so were you doing a food festival there? No, I was there on my birthday and my birthday treat was to go around Longleat Safari Park. I've been doing it ever since I was about four years old. Every year I go to Longleat and I walked into you in the kitchens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was there filming a railway journey um, for the BBC and uh, it was great and went off and filmed the lions and the tigers yeah. and goodness knows what else. Future plans? Future plans, I think, um, the, writing the book was, I never thought I'd have that opportunity and it really took me by surprise. Um, I was a theatre producer before COVID. Wow. And so um, my background was very much kind of making things happen, but never being the one in, in the forefront of the drama and the action. I was always behind the scenes. And so then going on Bake Off, I just thought, well, I'll, I'll go back to theatre, but COVID hit regional theatre really hard. And um, I was working in pantomime and I just thought there was no budgets there and everything. So let's try and make a go of it let's see what we can do with it so I wrote the book and since then it's been about trying to find ways of kind of spreading the message of getting people baking just kind of yeah doing food festivals and bits and bobs where I can